Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 metric. Now let's start the project by doing some job in advance. I have already created a folder which I renamed to my YouTube tutorial Revit. Let me add a version of Revit at the end, Revit 2018. How I create this folder, right click into the desktop and select new folder. A new folder will be created. Rename this folder to my YouTube. Tutorial and click outside. Now I'm going to delete this folder. Then right click the folder and create another two folder inside this folder. The first one is designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Imperial. The second one is designing an impressive architectural building in Revit. 2018 metric. In these two folder, we are going to create uh, two tutorials, one for the Imperial users and the other for the metric users. So save all your file in this folder or the file that you download from the website. The advantage of saving your file in this folder, you can use whatever version of Revit that you have to follow along. But if you download the file from the website. Since I use Revit 2018 for this tutorial, you cannot open those files on earlier version of Revit. But if you are using Revit 2018, you can use this file and jump to whatever video interesting you most. Now let's go and open Revit. I already launched Revit. To launch Revit, if you pin Revit on the status bar, just right click and select the Revit or double click the icon on the desktop if you select the option during the installation. I already launched Revit in the background. As you can see, this is the welcome screen of Revit. This welcome screen divided into several areas. You have the project area, the family area and the resource area. Now we're going to start a new project with a metric template. Go to the project area and click the new button. This brings the new pre project dialog box. Click the browse button and click the up one level button and double click the US metric. Select the construction default metric template and click open. Click OK again to open this template. When you learn Trivia, this is how the user interface looks. You have a series of things going on on this window. You have the application menu, you have the quick access to the, the info center, the ribbon, property palette, project browser, and the drawing area, navigation bar, view control bar, and the status bar. Now I'm going to rearrange this environment. I'm going to click on the title of the property palette and move this palette to the right edge of the drawing area. This way, even though I have less drawing area, but I can easily scroll to whatever option I want to select. Go to the quick access to and click the save command. Because this is the first time I try to save this project, Revit bring the save project as dialog box. But if I have already given a name to this project, clicking the save icon will override the file and update it to the present state of the drawing. So now navigate to the folder that you create for this project. Mine is on the desktop. Now I'm going to select my YouTube tutorial Revit 2018. And I'm going to select the uh, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 metric. 
since this is a metric project for the metric users. I'm going to rename this, this project to 00 underscore 001 underscore D I A D underscore M. I name this file this way so that you can follow along the video step by step. The 00 underscore 001 just means that this is the first project file in this tutorial. The DIAB represents designing an impressive architectural building, where the last M represents the metric because I have two previous tutorials in this channel the metric tutorial and the the imperial tutorial so click the option on the bottom left of this window and increase the maximum backup to 5 to be at the safer side click the ok button click save this save the file into this project now go to the manage tab and in the setting panel click units this brings the project unit dialog box in the length, click the tab next to length. This brings the format dialog box. Change the unit to millimeter. We are going to use millimeter into this tutorial. Then click the down arrow and change to one place of decimal. Click the suppress trailing zero and click OK. Click OK to return to the project environment. Alright, we are going to end this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to start to grid reference plane and continue this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or any suggestion, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.